Ladies and gentlemen, I walked 8.4 miles yesterday and the sun just popped off an M-class flare. Correlation, causation, um, how is your nation? How are you doing? Um, hello, Asteroid Fight Club. Please do your best to avoid World War III. Asteroid Fight Club is a group that does what they can to prevent civilization from collapsing or letting World War III break out to where like uh, world uh, nukes hit everybody and then everybody dies. That would be very bad. And we've come a long way throughout civilization. So now that we've gotten overabundance of everything, to let it fall apart now would be kind of dumb. Oh yeah, we're looking at asteroid SAR2594, which is coming pretty dang close to Earth. How close? Boom. It is going to be in Earth's shadow, so says Tony Dun Dun Dun. In about two hours, newly discovered SR, SAR2594 will pass through Earth's shadow. Holy crap, that is close. And this was discovered by Cernitsky. You know who that is? Christian Cernitsky. He's the dude, asteroid hunter. He discovered 20, 22 EB-5 right before it struck Iceland harmlessly earlier this month. And so yeah, these are crazy times, man. And this find is so new, it's not even up on NASA's JPL small body database lookup yet to find an orbital. Where'd it come from? Who knows? Where's it going? Hopefully past Earth safely. Um, yeah, it is now 1.33 a.m. Texas time, so it'll whiz by at about 3.33 a.m. Texas time. So look up. Maybe you'll see it in the sky. It's not on this chart, by the way. But big solar flares are back in the menu, baby. Dr. Tamitha Scove, region. 2974 causes short-lived R1 level radio blackout. We're talking especially across the Asian Pacific, Australia, India, East Africa. Talking about areas in the map. Expect noisy high frequency or high pollutant communications on the day side of Earth and GPS reception issues near dusk and dawn. And look how the solar activity did a weird dropout dipsy do down straight into a like oh my god i feel much better m-class solar flare strange days indeed my friends these dropouts have been pretty consistent lately so yeah the sun is trying to start to wake up again with the two sunspot regions over here and then one right there a total of three and the energy's been so weird i will take all the good help we can get to get us through march 2022 without World War III breaking out. If everybody stays cool and cooler heads prevail, hopefully we can prevent Armageddon, where Earth would end up looking more like Jupiter's moon Io, which is really volcanic. Jason Perry showing us the Juno G-Rams observations from Io in the Perihove 35. Perijove, like jovial, like Jupiter, July 21st, 2021. All right, speaking of Jupiter, You've got this conga line between Pluto. Whoa, I, I, I hit the wrong button. Uh, Pluto, Mars, Venus, and Earth. They've been doing this weird dance for a while, and Venus has been stuck between Mars and Saturn. But Jupiter's over here with a rendezvous on, I think, April 4th with Neptune, or the 6th, and then... Mars will be meeting up with Saturn on the 4th of April. We're watching out for that day. Definitely crazy shit happens when Mars and Saturn get together. Anyway, overall, the energy has been, you know, super crazy wild. So hang in there, buddy, ma'am, y'all. Okay. And it does kind of feel like Earth and Mars fighting over Venus. Can't we all just get along? Pretty please. Thank you. Yeah, so it's like good times over here and then... Not good times over here in Aquarius. And life is filled with a mix of both, I guess. And then Pluto and Capricorn has been in here since 2008. And shit has been crazy since 2008, for sure. Absolutely. Oh, if I'm acting weird or talking weird, it's probably because the sun is acting weird or talking weird. Because when the sun freaks out, 
Earth weather freaks out. People kind of freak out. And so here we are looking at the sun, and it has been waking up again. And we just had an M class flare pop off and knock a bunch of D rays offline. Okay, I just made that up. Um, I don't think D rays are a thing. D waves, that used to be like a, a, a time machine squared. Nah, I'm just talking. All right, I like words, and sometimes words like me. But here, I think if you're watching down here, you will see the M class flare pop off in slow motion through the magic of the SDO NASA camera capture technology of the future we have now. Although I think they put it up in like 1995 or so. Who knows? You're going to have to hang in there with me. I'll let the pretty pictures do the talking. Yeah, you can see that both of these, these areas have been very active. So, how have you been? How's your life? How are things going? Life, it's like a roller coaster. It's ups and it's downs. Yeah, I definitely sure hope that asteroid SAR2539 or whatever the heck it was. I hope it doesn't hit us in the face. How big is it? That's what she said. <laughs> Cause she's interested in asteroids. But yeah, man, it would be great if the sun could wake up soon and give us lots of excellent cosmic rays and magic rays and help kick in the roaring twenties. We are now on day four, day five of astronomical 2022. Spring, you might know it as. Boom, that is an interesting one. Boom, there's another one. Oh yeah, so this spot had nine C-class flares over the last 48 hours or so. And so things are get whoa, yeah, interesting. Ping, bang, boom, pop, pow. All right, it seemed like it would come from the top one. I don't know, 974 is down here. All right, anyway. It's, it's, life is like a weird movie so stay cool and let love rule and we will make it through this hey you can't park there mate says orcs strange days indeed my friends all right have a great day have a great night have a great weekend oh and if i can i would like to say thank you to astro fight club for being awesome and amazing all right god bless everyone now let's do our best to kick in the roaring 20s with peace and prosperity for all. Yay. God bless everyone. Stay cool.